Hey folks, how you doing? Yesterday I was doing some more experimentation on the process uh, that you guys know about already, uh, extracting uh, electrical energy uh, from uh, st static magnets, uh, that is static magnets and static coils. So I was experimenting a little yesterday and I came up uh, with something pretty weird that I'd like to share with you and uh, hopefully get some of your comments. But anyway, here's what's happening. As I was filming, uh, I was lighting up some LEDs uh, by passing an iron bar over the coils, but the coils weren't moving and the magnets weren't moving, okay? So everything was static except the iron bar. Now what happened is, uh, first of all, I had it on a wooden surface and I was getting a little light, but not, not that bright. But then I went to put a, a metal pan, an iron pan, underneath a set of magnets. And lo and behold, the, the lights uh, are, are brighter. So something's going on that's affecting the production of the energy, electrical energy. So this is what I figured. You know, uh, a magnet uh, has the north and the south. And in between, you have what's called the block wall. That's the neutral zone. So everything beyond in the north side is equal and opposite to the the, the south pole. Equal and opposite because, you know, uh, Mother Nature likes equilibrium. So it likes to be stable. So however powerful the north is, the south has to be the same uh, powerful. So anyway, when I put the iron underneath the, the, the set of magnets, here's what I got. I got a lot more brightness on, on the load side of the magnets. So my speculation is this. Ele uh, magnetism is drawn into iron. Okay? We all know that. That's normal. But when I set the pan underneath the magnets, it's acting like an antenna because iron attracts uh, magnetism. So remember, we, we're surrounded by electromagnetism. And when you put an iron pan underneath the magnets, it draws in more. It has more surface area to draw in from. So when I pass the iron bar over the opposite side, I suspect that it needs to compensate because you're you're favoring one side, it has to compensate on the other side, the load side. So that's the south part, okay? Uh, and it could be either way, it could be vice versa. But what I'm saying is when, when you favor one side with iron, you're gonna get more production off the opposite side because there's not there's not an equilibrium anymore. The other side has to compensate. So it has to work harder, produce more energy. So that's what that's my theory that that's what's going on. And uh, uh, in that experiment, I did not change the magnets, I did not change the coils, um, and I did it everything in the same speed. The only thing, like I said, is I changed what the magnets were setting on: more iron, more energy. That's the conclusion. Anyway, I got some clips here to show you uh, what I did, okay? So hopefully you'll enjoy. Thank you very much. It's a piece of cardboard. Cardboard. Conduit, electrical conduit. Wood. Uh, metallic ruler oops metallic ruler a hollow metal rod like curtain rod this produces a lot more okay now we're gonna switch to 
favoring one side with the metal the metal pan. So we're going to favor one side of the equilibrium with the metal pan. Do the same thing again. Much brighter. Piece of cardboard. No batteries. <laughs> No batteries, no hidden batteries. We're extracting uh, magnetic energy, converting to electrical energy by passing iron over the coil. <laughs> 